Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to explain some of the most common error codes that you might encounter on your Crown Electric Palette Jack. We'll further brief you on how to interpret and troubleshoot those errors. Having this working knowledge empowers you to resolve many common issues right on the spot. Let's get started. First, let's quickly go over what an error code actually is. Modern Crown Palette Jacks have onboard computers that monitor the status of components like motors, controllers, sensors, and more. If the computer detects an issue, it will display an error code on the digital display to alert the operator that service may be required. The error codes are extremely helpful for troubleshooting as they indicate exactly which component or system is experiencing a fault. Without error codes, resolving pallet jack problems would involve much more guesswork and wasted time. Now, let's review some of the most common ones seen on crown pallet jacks and what they typically point to. First up is the BD1 code. On crown equipment, this points to a battery discharge issue. Specifically, BD1 means the built-in limits for battery depletion have been triggered, preventing further operation to avoid complete battery failure. Usually, BD1 appears because the battery simply needs to be recharged after intense use. However, it may also indicate that the battery requires replacement if old or that the pallet jack is consistently being operated beyond the battery's capacity. When encountering a BD1 error, park your pallet truck and charge the battery fully. Be sure to allow ample time based on the battery chemistry. If the code reappears on the next use, reduce travel distances and lift frequencies during operation. If BD1 still persists, a higher capacity or new long life battery replacement is recommended. Error code 13 on your crown signifies a fault within the lift motor circuit. This could stem from an issue with the lift motor, controller, wiring connections, or pump mechanism. As always, the first step with any error code is to check that all related connectors and wires are securely attached, as worn wiring often plays a role on heavier used units. If the error persists, utilize a multimeter to check voltage levels at various points along the lift control circuit. Also, visually inspect the lift motor windings and use the resistance setting to check for possible winding failure. If windings test fine, the controller or hydraulic unit could malfunction. Experienced technicians can best determine the root cause through methodical, component-by-component -component diagnosis. These two codes, 41 and 301, focus on potential issues within the electric pallet jacks traction control card voltage and display module malfunction. Error code 301 signals that the display module of ECR1 count failed, while error code 41 signals that the traction control card voltage is too high, usually greater than 0.8 volts. Possible reasons could be overheating and loose connection from PCZ2 and PCZ5 to thermal protector. Again, closely inspect the condition of all wiring and connectors leading to the drive motor for any deterioration or looseness. The contacts where the control card and display module linked to the motor are prone to build up and corrosion over time, clean if any gunk is visible. To confirm faults, carefully test resistance through the motor windings with a multimeter to check for shorts indicative of internal winding failure. If windings test functional, the control card and display module may need replacement by a service tech. Just be sure to rule out all basic environmental causes first, as control cards and display modulus are pricey. Next, we have error code 332. This code indicates an open or shorted brake driver circuit. The brake system is responsible for stopping and holding the pallet jack in place. You need to check the wiring for any loose or damaged connections and make sure the brake pads are not worn out or contaminated. If you find any signs of damage, you need to replace the brake driver circuit or contact a service technician. Error code 856 typically indicates a loss of communication from the handle. So, what does that mean exactly? Well, it could be a signal that there's a hiccup in the connection between the control handle and the main unit. The first step in troubleshooting this issue is to check the harness in the knuckle. Look out for any pinched or exposed wires that could be disrupting the communication flow. 
Once you've identified and addressed any wiring issues, it's time to give your pallet jack another go. Power it up and see if the error code 856 has disappeared. If it's still lingering, you may need to delve deeper into the control handle or consult with a technician for further assistance. If you're seeing error code 857, your battery might be defective. Low power causes issues with the electromagnet brake and traction motor, leading to chattering. Check your battery for defects or low charge to resolve. Error code 336 signals that the throttle voltage exceeded the limits. Inspect the speed pot in the tiller handle, as resistance in the switch can trigger the code. Opt for a 15 ampere switch for improved performance over the factory's 10 ampere ones. Ensure compatibility for seamless operation. And there you have it. A breakdown of some common Crown Electric Pallet Jack error codes and how to troubleshoot them. Remember, safety always comes first, so if you're unsure about any repairs, don't hesitate to seek professional help. Now, before we wrap up, I would like to introduce you to our dedicated platform, PalletJackson.com. A comprehensive solution for all your pallet jack maintenance requirements, our website is a hub for premium quality parts across a diverse range of makes and models. From hydraulic components to electrical parts, load support systems, and other crucial accessories, we provide them all at the most competitive prices in the market. Make pallet jacks in your go-to resource for every pallet jack needs. The link to our website is in the description. Please make sure to visit. That's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more insightful content. Until then, thank you once again for watching, and see you in the next video.